Hi, I'm Rob Shaw with the Mountain Athlete, and I want to talk today a little bit about the difference between general fitness and sports specific fitness and how those two ideas work in with our programming and training here at my gym in Jackson. One of the first mistakes when I started the gym was thinking that general fitness would transfer over to sports specific fitness in the mountains. I thought if I could just get climbers, rock climbers, fit generally in the gym through barbell work and work capacity stuff it would transfer to rock climbing. What happens is they got more generally fit, but there wasn't a lot of transfer to rock climbing or ice climbing because those two sports are so dependent on grip and, and uh, forearm strength. It took me a while, and I'm a dumb strength coach, to kind of figure that out, but we finally figured that out and then started programming specifically. But I want to talk to you in general kind of how we approach this. And uh, when we think about fitness for my athletes, I have what's called a fitness mountain. And at the bottom of the fitness mountain is what I call this area right here, base fitness. This is general fitness. It's not totally general. Our base fitness that we use for our mountain athletes, for my mountain guides, is different than I would use, say, for my soldiers or for the high school football players that we work with also. Um, but it is more general um, than it is specific. And when it comes to base fitness, we have four different, what I call, cornerstones. The first is strength, the second is work capacity, the third is stamina, and the fourth is durability. So when we're doing some base fitness cycle, or we're doing some base fitness uh, training, we're cycling through these different uh, cornerstones as we help to build the base fitness of that athlete. Now above base fitness, what we what is what I call mid mountain fitness, and this is sport specific in a gym or artificial environment. Let me take a step back. If you think about the training year. For example, right now my skiers are getting really close to the beginning of the ski season. It's just a couple weeks away. It's November 24th is when the ski season opens up, where our local ski area opens up. And let's say this is, they started training in, on May 14th. In general, the further you are away from when your season starts, the more general your fitness can be. So from May 14th until about uh, eight weeks out from this period, let's say that's around uh, October 24th, maybe like October 1st or something, my skiers were doing base fitness. We were working them through these cycles. It wasn't totally general. There was much more emphasis on strength for my skiers and work capacity than stamina, but they were cycling through the stuff. Now, around October 1st is when we started our sport-specific cycle. In other words, this is when we started our mid-mountain fitness with them. And our exercises and programming this last six weeks or last eight weeks before the season started is really focused on getting them ready specifically for skiing. And so the exercises and programming that we're doing now is really focused on just getting them ready for skiing. This time before that, we're just working on building their base fitness up. We want to make them strong overall, durable all overall, mentally fit, and have high work capacity. Going back here to the fitness mountain, at the top here we have what I call summit fitness. Another way to think about this is technical practice. This is the type of fitness you get that you kind of need for the sport, but it's not efficient to train in the gym. For example, for my skiers, I don't think it's efficient to train balance in the gym. Some coaches will put skiers on both balls and have them do lots of leg agility stuff. I think, and there certainly is a balance component to alpine skiing, I don't deny that, 
But from my perspective, um, it's not efficient to train that in the gym. There's not a lot of transfer of boxy ball work to actual skiing. And I only have so much time with them, I want to focus on what I know is going to transfer. This type of uh, fitness they get here is what they get when they're actually skiing. So they're going to get that balance stuff when they start skiing. That's going to come back and they're going to need to be working on that. My goal here with these guys is to get them to this point. This is November 24th. This is when the ski area opens. My goal is to get them to this uh, date right here as fit for the sport as possible. My base fitness that I've worked with them is making them uh, overall strong and durable. My sport specific, uh, the work we've done with them has put uh, eccentric leg strength on them through our leg blasters, um, sport specific lactate tolerance through all the interval training that we're doing with them that's really hammering their legs. When they get to you at the resort on November 24th, they're going to be there with all the other skiers. And everybody's going to be rusty on the technical skills of skiing because no one, including my guys, have been skiing for six months. But ideally, if my skiers are fit, they can work on those technical uh, skills um, harder during the ski when the ski area first opens and more often. In other words, um, the people who haven't been training for uh, specifically for skiing when they get there to that to know when the ski area starts, they're going to be able to ski hard for three or four hours, then their legs are going to be blown out. Then the next day they're going to be sore. Whereas my skiers are going to be able to ski hard all day, recover that night, come back and ski hard the next day. They'll get, they'll be able to kick out that rust from their technical skills faster and start working on their new skills and developing those skills sooner. And ideally that'll help push them up in their skiing ability. Anyway, that's just a real uh, a general introduction or explanation of how we program here at Mountain Athlete, how we work in the basic fitness of stuff we do in the gym, and then the sport specific stuff we do in the gym to get the athletes ready for their on-mountain performance.